so hello guys welcome to another tutorial so today we'll be making an automated tool gate so what this does is once it dictates movement in, the, in its front it opens automatically so we'll be making use of arduino you know and picto block so let's dive into the materials we'll be needing so number one we'll be needing something like this like a paper then the breadboard we we'll need the arduino you know board the servo 90 degree 180 degree servo then the ultrasonic sensor then something like uh, a bottle then jumper wires like 10 at least then our glue stick plus the usb cable and a red led so let's do the connection we connect it first to the arduino you know then we start connecting our wires so we start by gluing the breadboard to the platform that we have just created so we on our candle then take our glue stick then melt it a little then we put it at the back of our breadboard then put it on the platform at a very good place then we also glue our bottle our bottle we also glue it to the platform so once we have glued it so let's start the connection the first thing we do is we connect four jumper wires for the ultrasonic sensor four jumper wires that will represent the vcc the trick the echo and the gnd so you plug it like that so the first wire represents the vcc trick then echo then gnd so after that we we connect our gnd there's a one one gnd to supply for the Savo and the LED. So we connect a wire for the chain. Then we connect the negative to the negative of the GND the, of the wire that we just put that GND. So once we have done that, we connect at least three wires to our servo. So once we have connected our three wires to our servo, so the next thing is to connect our ultrasonic sensor to our Arduino Inno board. Then the five volt VCC to five volt, the trick to number two. The echo to number three, then the GND to GND of the Arduino Uno board. Then we connect the GND from our breadboard to the, another GND on the Arduino Uno board. So then we work on the servo. We first connect our GND on servo to the breadboard since we don't have much GNDs like that. Then we connect the VCC. So the five volts on the ultrasonic sensor. Then lastly, the pin. We connect it to pin five. The pin of the servo to pin five. To pin five. So with that done, so we are almost ready to go. So the next thing, we, we glue an iron bar to the servo. So we make use of an iron bar. So we put it on the servo. So this would signify its opening and closing. So we also glue the servo to the bottle. So now we have our iron bar made already. So regarding this wire, we need to connect the pin of our red LED to pin 4, digital pin 4 of the Arduino Uno board. So connect it directly. He doesn't want to stay, but I will force it. So yes, now, yes, we've connected it. So let's dive in. So we connect our USB cable to our laptop. So once we have done that, we are set to do the program. So we open Picto Blocks. Once we open Picto Blocks, we have this. The first thing you do is carry out when green flag clicked. After that, go to Control, carry out forever. Then once you have carried out forever, the next thing you go to if then else. You carry out if then else. If then L statement we'll be needing it so once we carry this out then we go to operator we carry out box less than 50 less than not greater than 50 less than 50 so once we have done that the next thing we connect our board in order to be able to use the um, extension of Arduino Uno board so we connect our board click on Arduino Uno then connect so once once we have done this then we scroll down to carry out get ultrasonic sensor get ultrasonic sensor with the trick pin 2 
then the echo bin 3 remember the connection we carry out to be because we'll be needing to then we'll go back to looks we we'll go to looks so that our toby will be saying the distance of the ultrasonic sensor what it is detecting it is used to detect movement in its front so once that is done so we scroll down again we carry out servo get servo carry out set servo set servo remember the pin we chose was pin 5 so set servo okay let's take this away So we say set servo pin 5 to 90 degree. 90. Let's change it to 90. Type 90. Then carry out another set servo pin 5 to. So that's the other way around. So once this thing, a transonic sensor detect anything greater than 10 centimeter, it changes to 0 degree. So we have changed it to 0. So with that done, we still want our LED to on once the ultrasonic sensor detects something 10 meter from it so we want it to on then remember the pin was pin 4 change it to pin 4 i then the second one we take it to the other one then we set it to low pin 4 to low so pin 4 to low so with that done we are ready so let's upload firmware click on upload firmware then this happens so let's just wait a little bit for the firmware to be uploaded please if you are enjoying this tutorial just click on the subscribe button thank you so now our program is working our program is working so all we have to do is just to let me bring our physical Arduino out so all we have to do is put our hands in the front of it then you see it opens so once a car comes in front of it, it opens so far the car is still there it will keep itself open but once the car leaves the iron bar closes back so thank you for watching this tutorial so please if you enjoy please just click on the subscribe button if you enjoy what you are seeing if you have any question you can drop it in the comment section i will do well to answer it thank you very much bye